Thanks for tuning in to TCA Remote Learning. You can find more videos at tca.org forward slash remote hyphen learning. My name is Miguel Gulen. I'm a Director of Professional Development at TCEA and you can reach me on Twitter at mglearn. You know, there's tons of great videos and resources on the TCA Remote Learning site. I'd like to invite you to uh, drop by and check out these uh, relatively short 15 to 20 minute uh, videos as well as come up here and click on where it says tools and resources and these are some specific tools and resources that we've created or that we found that we like and want to share. You can see right over here on the left hand side there is a uh, link to something called remote learning tools for schools and you'll find lots of uh, great free or no cost or reduced cost uh, resources available for use in schools. If you're curious about uh, our blog, if you click on the blog link you'll find uh, lots of different uh, resources for remote learning and these are blog entries that uh, we have either recently published or that are relevant to uh, remote learning. So uh, let's talk a little bit about our subject today we're going to be focused on Google Docs copy and paste made simple. You know I can't tell you how many times um, we'll share a resource online either through the TCA blog uh, as a template or I, I'll see that others have shared templates and a lot of folks just don't know how to get a hold of those. They don't know how to uh, take them and, and remix them, make them their own so they can use them in their classroom or for their own professional development sessions. So the magic of today's session is that we're going to talk and go through some of the ways that you can do that. And uh, right now th this is how Google Docs makes it so easy to uh, get a hold of other people's resources. And you can see right away that the problem isn't that people aren't sharing resources that you can use, but sometimes that people just don't know how to get a hold of those resources and, and take advantage of them. And if you're in that situation, um, you know, it just be aware that it's okay to make copy and to copy and paste and remix that content. It, it's okay. That's why they've made it available for you to get. You don't have to start from scratch, so to speak, and create something brand new. One of my favorite places is HyperDocs uh, CO. Uh, the ladies who uh, came up with HyperDocs have done a really nice job of trying to capture uh, sort of a community effort and get um, others to share their resources, their ideas. So you can actually come to their website and find templates for all sorts of educational resources that are available here. So that's just one location but you know TCA also shares uh, Google templates in a lot of its different blog entries. So you can come here to Google templates for students, amazing G Suite templates, infographic templates with Google Slides, free templates, you know, you get the idea. There, there's just a lot of content that you can get a hold of. But before you can take advantage of that, you really have to be ready to receive that content. And so the first thing that you really need to do is to log in with your G Suite EDU account or if you have a personal uh, Google account you can certainly use that as well but you first have to log in on that browser that you're that you're using and I would recommend that you're probably either be using a Chrome browser or a Chromium based browser that could be a browser like Brave um, or any of the other many ones that are out there Microsoft Edge has a fantastic browser that's that they've been using or they've set up and created. In fact that's what I'm using now is Microsoft Edge but it works quite well as a Chromium based browser. But the real issue here is you need to log in with your Google account whether that's a personal account or a G Suite EDU or business or nonprofit or whatever. Uh, so this sign in screen is pretty important. Now anyone who has a Google account has these sharing options. The only time that you might not have these options though is if your organization like your school district says no we're not going to share outside of our domain. 
we're only going to let you share with other people inside of the district or your organization. If that's the case, uh, then it might be a little bit difficult for you to share content out with others, but it certainly shouldn't be an impediment for you to get content from others. So you should still be able to take advantage of a lot of these um, if you're grabbing content from that others are sharing. So there's lots of different options that you can take advantage of. And uh, one of the, I guess the first or the steps that you need to take are really log in with your Google account, then click on a link above for maybe the Google Scavenger uh, Hunt link or whatever. And then when someone shares a Google Docs, Slides, or Sheet document, use the file, make a copy. So you can see this whole thing here sort of plays out. Even though you might not have rights to a document, you can usually go to File and then choose Make a Copy. And that will make a copy that will open up on your screen and then you can, it, it's yours at, at that point. You can make edits or changes. But there are easier ways uh, to do that and we're going to sort of talk about that in a little bit. Now when somebody shares the Make a Copy link, they're trying to save you a step. And this is a person uh, sharing that they assume you want a copy of the document. So they take your tra the traditional share link out of Google and instead of edit they type in copy. So you can sort of see that here. Here's the original share link and I've bold faced the word edit. So that's what they do is they replace that word edit with copy. This is a pretty handy uh, thing because in, as you can see the, in this particular picture you're in view mode and if you want to get a copy of the document saved to your Google Drive you just go to file and make a copy and then you can change the name at the moment you decide to make that copy but for when people decide that they want you to go straight to making a copy what will happen is they'll change the link and then you're gonna what you're going to see will look like this so you go straight you don't get that you don't get the whole um, toolbar or access where it says file make a copy this just assumes that the one thing you want to do is to make a copy and it can be a time saver because it eliminates you having to go to file make a copy all that stuff so this view will take you here and you have to come over and file make a copy or what you can do is if someone has shared the make a copy version you just click on that and then you say make a copy and it's actually making a copy of the document and you can see that it gives it that copy of sample whatever document it might happen to be at which point you can change that around and now you have a document now this document has not been shared with anyone it is just for your use if you want to share it with others you can come up to your share button click on get a shareable link and it'll say anyone with the link can view or the best thing to do is go to advanced and then you can you can uh, actually make some changes you can make it public on the web anyone with the link or whatever now I'm looking at this within the context of a personal Google account. If you were looking at this, let's say from a school district account, maybe a, um, or an organization account, and that document has not been shared with you, you can see now that I, my options are limited. Here I have full rights. I actually own that document. But here I don't. And so if I want to do anything with this, I can I have to go to file, make a copy. And that file make a copy is usually going to be there for you to use. Does that make sense? So I've, I've included some screenshots there in case you need a, a visual reminder of what we just talked about. And of course you can watch this video as many times as you like. Now that was option A, make a copy. Option B is use a template. This is another popular way that, that people use. Um, when they want to share a document with you. Now what you probably noticed about the make a copy view you can see here is that it doesn't show you what the document looks like. You don't have a chance to look at it and decide yeah that's the one. 
so instead of that what you do is you you use the template view and what this does is the template preview what this will allow you to do is to take a look at the document and see oh yeah this is the one I wanted and then you click on use template and that's when it says okay now you're gonna make a copy of that and save it so it's a really nice alternative to make a copy uh, just be aware that you don't want to turn something into a template until you have it 99 percent done okay because it will retain whatever the look is that it had when you first clicked on use template so if I plan to put a beautiful graphic right there in the middle and that was going to be a, a way to uh, that I think is pretty essential it's going to identify what this document is about but I didn't include it before I clicked on use template that eh, graphics not going to show up so just be aware um, that you want your document that you want to share with others um, before you turn it into a template preview that you have it the way you want it now to accomplish that you you are basically going to replace the end of that link that share link and type in template forward slash preview and what that will do is will it will automatically generate the preview view so let's take a quick look at that and see how that works so here I am I'm going to open up a document and I want to share this document as a template so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on share I'm going to copy that link and then I'm just going to paste it up here at the top now right here at the end I'm going to get rid of edit question mark USP equals sharing and type in template preview as you can see there's the link I'm going to copy it again just so I have it and now that I've done that it's going to give me this template view so very straightforward and simple uh, approach I hope uh, for you on that okay so let's take a look at the third option which is a folder or directory of documents what happens when a person sharing uh, with you has a folder maybe they have a you know a folder or directory of content it's just so much great content and it's it may look like this image over here to the right there's just a lot of great content or if you're not logged into a Google account it may come across looking like this you're gonna see lots of individual documents um, they might be in picture mode or you know thumbnail mode like what you see on the screen or they might look like just a list of alphabetical list of documents so when you encounter a folder like that you usually want to get the whole thing because who wants to just get one or two you might you, you might not come this way again so you want to grab the whole thing and so one way to do that is to come up here and click on the folder name in the breadcrumb trail and say add to my drive and what this is going to do is it's going to add the entire folder to your Google Drive and you will have a copy of the entire thing isn't that amazing so if I want if you wanted to get a copy of all my quotes I you can come up here to quotes and then add shortcut to drive or since I mean it said shortcut because that I actually own that document but or that folder but if you were seeing it for the first time you would see add to my drive so these are just the three options that make it easier to get a copy of the templates um, that have been shared with you as, as well as maybe shared on the internet for anyone to get you first have to have a Google account so make sure that you log in first and then decide which of the three options is going to work best for you you know some of them you obviously don't have any control over but others you'll you'll you can uh, take a look at and see I also have a follow-up blog entry that you can check out and we have tons of great blog entries at the TCA Tech Notes blog so if you want to you can go ahead and check those out or you can also come over here to Google uh, or just type in the word templates and I bet you're going to come up with lots of great blog entries that are going to show you um, some resources now just to remind you I did put a lot of those right here in the problem so here are a few blog entries that share Google templates so you don't actually have to go searching for them at all you can just come up here and and grab them and uh, you're all set to go thanks for watching uh, this uh, episode of TCA remote learning 
my name is Miguel Gulen and you, again you can catch me on Twitter at MG learn and then um, of course you can find lots of other great content at tca.org forward slash remote hyphen learning thanks for watching